light stands. We have more than we need and certainly more than we can comfortably store in our micro-sized studio. We needed a way to utilize the space, storing the light stands, so they aren't taking up much room while keeping them on hand and easy to grab. We came up with a pretty good solution. Welcome to the Film Nook. This episode of the Film Nook is brought to you by premiumbeat.com. Find exclusive production music for your next film. As you can see, our studio is pretty small. Because of this, we have tried our best not to buy any more bulky storage shelves like this one here. Piling up light stands in the corner is messy and they usually fall over. Lining them up against the back wall behind the door does use that space effectively, but we would knock over the light stands, so we needed a way to brace the light stands against the wall. Well, how about bungee cords? They're strong, elastic, multifunctional, and they do come in a range of colors and sizes. By drilling in a strong wall plug and screwing in hooks on each side, we can string the bungee cords across the wall and give the light stands a wall support. The hooks stand no further out of the wall than the light stands, so they aren't intrusive. They are tight enough to hold the light stands in place without them falling over, and elastic enough for easy access to the stands. We like this setup so much we added another one on this wall here. We used it to store mic stands, tripods, gel bags, pretty much anything that is long and thin. Something like this keeps our micro studio just that little bit bigger. Thank you very much to premiumbeat.com for sponsoring this episode. If you need music for your next film, go check them out. They're a great source of high quality, royalty free tracks. Links in the description below. So this was a pretty simple idea, but really effective for our workspace. If you have any cool tricks or tips for your workspace, we'd love to hear about them in the comments below. We're going to be doing more videos about our studio and our little DIY creations, so let us know if you want to see any more. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.